Yo guys, Monkey here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best OBS settings you can possibly get when you are streaming on the internet, whether you're streaming on Twitch, YouTube, uh, Periscope, or whatever restream. I will be showing you where and how you can go ahead and optimize an in uh, an in application tool, which is basically an application that comes with OBS that will automatically go ahead and get the best uh, settings for you when streaming online. So what I'm going to do now though guys is I'm going to go ahead onto speedtest.net and I'm just going to basically go ahead and run a speed test to get an idea of what my download and upload speed is. You mainly want to focus on the upload speed so some aspects you need to go ahead and take into consideration guys is how many people are going to be broadcasting or going to be using the internet whilst you are streaming, whether they're going to go ahead and watch Netflix, go ahead and watch YouTube, or just general browsing the internet, you need to take into consideration on how many people will be going ahead and doing that. So let's say, for instance, on mine, as you can see on screen now, mine says that I've got 21.3 megabits per second upload speed. So I need to take into consideration, because there's about, what, four people that live in my house as well as me, so there's going to be four people that will be browsing the internet the same as me. So basically all I'll be using of that 21 megabits per second upload speed will be 6. I can go ahead and push it for 8 if I want to go ahead and get 1080. I probably can. But for safe issues, safe issues like for Twitch, most Twitch streamers go ahead and, up and stream on 720p 60 frames per second. I can go ahead and push 1080p 60 frames per second when I'm streaming. I can use Restream and you upload it at 10 megabits per second and I will literally get 1080p 60 frames per second across Twitch and YouTube at the same time, which you can see mine is 21.3 upload. So let's say you get what, uh, 12 upload speed and you have like three people browsing the internet. You need to make sure that there's enough upload speed to go across the whole of your actual house. So I'd only use roughly around about 4 megabits upload speed and let the rest be used for the fact for your family who's coming in. If you're getting visitors who have your password for your internet, they can also browse the internet that will not affect you. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you a tool in OBS which will literally go ahead and uh, generate all these settings for you guys with just pressing a couple of buttons and we've actually out guessing the est estimates that you might need to actually stream and get a better quality without it lagging, without it saying low latency. Uh, the best thing is if you are actually streaming on the Elgato software, I've noticed that when I stream on the Elgato software, it basically says for me guys that high have low latency or whatever and it keeps lagging my stream for no reason at all and that's because I'm using the Elgato software so when I go ahead and use the OBS software there's literally no issue at all my stream runs perfectly fine it runs flawlessly so I suggest not streaming using the Elgato software and I'll move over to OBS because OBS is free guys and it's literally probably the best software for streaming so what I'm going to do now guys I'm going to jump into OBS if you do not have OBS installed, make sure you go ahead and install OBS. The link for that will be down in the description below. And yeah guys, I will jump into OBS now and show you guys exactly what you need to do to uh, go ahead and get these automatic configurations when streaming. So guys, I'm on OBS now and basically I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can go ahead and basically get these automatic configuration settings uh, for your actual streaming experience. So all you guys pretty much need to do is head over into tools on um, OBS, go into auto configuration wizard beta, and then you wanna go ahead and if you're optimizing it for streaming, obviously you want to optimize it for streaming on this video. So you wanna click on optimize the streaming, we're recording in secondary. And then obviously you want to go ahead and set it to your display resolution. So mine is set to 1920 by 1080 p uh, If yours is was 720 or if yours was 4K, you have to use your display resolution. And on the FPS, you want to make up your mind where if you want to either uh, do it in 60 or 30 uh, frames per second, but prefer it to be 60 if possible, or either 60 or 30 but prefer high resolution, use 30. 
I'll use 60. I'm going to click either 60 or 30, but I prefer it when it's 60 frames per second. And then you want to go ahead and click next. I'm going to do it on uh, Twitch. You make sure you go ahead and if you want to do it on YouTube or if you're using Restream, just go ahead, copy your uh, stream key. Uh, the link for the stream key thing is over here. Uh, so you can just click this link, it'll take you to the dashboard of Twitch and you can copy your um, stream key and just paste it into here. And now where it says prefer hardware encoding and estimate bitrate with bandwidth test which may take a few minutes. You want to make sure you have them both ticked <clears throat> and then click next. And what this will do, it'll do like a little test stream, test all the servers on Twitch and it'll come up with the best options for you. So it might take a while and um, people may see this on your stream but it's just like a little quick test it won't save or anything um, but yeah just click next it'll run through this it might take some time uh, but yeah guys I will skip the video and come back to you guys with the settings I get for my internet settings uh, for obviously the resolution and stuff that I chose from and see if it's 60 fps that I can get so as you see on screen now guys that I have got it back my best server is EU um, I can stream at 6000 bitrate, I can use a high quality with, feet, with a medium file size if I wanted to record it and I can uh, have my base canvas to 1920x1080 and obviously outscale that as a 720p video in 60fps so that is like the preferred um, video output for uh, Twitch, you don't really need to go any higher than that maybe if I'm streaming on YouTube I'll set it to 1080p 60 frames per second but all you have to do once it's done this guys is apply the settings and it will literally do all the th it will literally apply the settings for you and OBS and all you have to do is start streaming it will literally put your stream key in and everything but yeah guys that's the tutorial so yeah guys that is the tutorial I hope you enjoyed it I hope it helps you guys if you've got any questions or you want more tutorials like this about your OBS and what you guys can do with OBS like setting up different scenes for different uh, streaming softwares and stuff like that so I can set up a, a scene which is specifically based just directly for Twitch or I can set up a scene which is pretty much directly based for YouTube, Restream etc so if you want more videos on OBS explaining the capabilities and what you can do in the software to help you guys with your streaming and recording experience let me know in the comment section below remember if you did like this video and it does help in any way guys please hit that thumbs up button also make sure you go ahead and subscribe and make sure you enable post notifications by pressing that bell icon next to the subscribe button as some of you guys are not being notified when I actually pu publish a video or when I am actually streaming so make sure you have that enabled guys to make sure you, you make sure that you are notified every time I stream and upload guys but that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it peace out <laughs>